a headless corpse laid in apartment 7. Unable to identify the victim, Dan assumed the worst, but the murder seemed to have been committed before Adam's distress call. Clinging to hope, Dan heads back into the building's twisted hallways to find out what happened to his son. First order of business, find the woman who called the victim. Her initials are HN. Hello there everyone, my name is Oversoul, this is Oversoul Gaming, and welcome back to Observer System Redux. Now, we are actually on our way to HN's apartment, uh, that would be Helena Novak. Uh, it's down here at the end of the hallway. Uh, when we last left, we had just conversated with this fine gentleman here in this apartment. Ugh. We have one more person to talk to before we go to the uh, to the good bits. All right, let's do this. Hello. KPD. I'd like to have a word. It's about time you showed up. What the hell is going on? Why are we under lockdown? Most well, you likely see. a malfunction. I'm still looking into it. No, there are you murders afoot. looking in the right places. Because I don't know nothing. Noticed anything suspicious or unusual? Other than the lockdown, I mean. Well, a couple from 104 were making an awful lot of noise a while back. More than usual, I mean. The girl ran off. And then it got quiet. Hmm. Did you see where she ran off to? I ain't one to snoop, but judging by the footsteps, I'd say she ran down to the courtyard. Yes, yes, to the Anything tattoo parlor. Else you tell me about them. What? The couple? Don't know them that well. The girl seems nice enough. Not sure about the guy, though. Hmm, what about him? What can you tell me about the guy? Amir? I think he's called. He looks tough, but he's got the yellow eye, you know? Twitches like a junkie. Probably sells the shit, too. He does, actually. We're about that. to, uh... What, the dealing? We're about I to see that. I sneak around during the night, carrying packages and stuff. I doubt he's the goddamn postman. What about the girl? Oh, she, she's a trooper. Works double shifts at Chiron to support that ex-con asshole of a husband. Any idea what she might be doing for them? Can't be too important, or she wouldn't be living in this shithole. Explains the look on her face, though. What do you mean by that? Worn out, fidgety, jumping at shadows. Working for the corporation has that effect, I guess. Does this kind of stuff happen often? You ever see a husband get violent? Nah, nah, he ain't a wife beater or anything like that. He's just messed up. And again, ain't we all? Y yeah, anything true. Anything else out of the ordinary? Anything but... at all? <laughs> well, other than some asshole bringing animals into the building, I'd say that's pretty much Animals? It. Oh, you mean Mr. Wolfman. Yeah, I could, uh, I could swear I heard something growling in the hallway earlier. I informed the janitor, but eh, he'd lose the plot midway through the talk anyway. Thanks. You've been very helpful. <laughs> That's new. We can put the pieces together ourselves, obviously. People in this building are being slaughtered by a, uh, by a vicious creature. That much is obvious. Anyone here? Oh yeah, there's someone here, all right. Chiron Corporation ID. Low-level clearance, but still valid. All right. And yeah, that guy has a point. We are all messed up, but there's uh, there's different levels of messed up, you know. There's the fun kind, and then there's the uh, the uh, you need to be locked up kind. Ah, well, there's a mirror. Jesus. A second victim. Badly injured, but still breathing. Badly injured? That's a, uh... That's a very polite way of saying your intestines Don't are hanging out. Don't be afraid. I'm here to help. What happened here?
Dispatch, this is Lazowski 656210. I got an emergency here. No signal because of the lockdown. Damn it. Still no connection. Yeah, what a terrible time to not be able to call out for help. Listen to me. The building's on lockdown. There's no way I can help you now. But I can get whoever's responsible for this if you help me find him. Don't try to talk. There's another way. Ah, uh, yes, the fun way. You know, hooking up to people's memories is already, uh... Subject approved. Gotta be a weird... Interrogation. A weird experience to begin with, right? But when you add in the fact that this man is basically dying and something vicious attacked him, oh, well, you can... And he hasn't had the greatest life. Remember, the guy that we just talked to said that this guy is like an ex-con, he's a drug dealer. I'm home. Oh, I'm sure he's gone through some shit. Anyways, though, this is our first memory dive in this replay. For this game, these are the parts where, um... It gets like layers of fear. This is the. Some weird back ass words Satan talks going on over there. Yeah. Amir, so, is that you? See, because Bloober Team's first game was Layers of Fear. We all know that. I don't think. Ever since then, I mean, they've experimented with different things. This is obviously way different than Layers of Fear, but it still has moments like this, right? So you open the door, a spooky thing happens, you turn around, and oh no, things are different now. And then you turn around again, and things are different again, and then, yeah. I don't think they're capable of making a game without doing that anymore. Like, it's their staple, it's their thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's Bloober Team's... Thing. It's what they do. Because Layers of Fear, um, this, Layers of Fear 2, and Blair Witch. Now, I will hand it to him, Blair Witch actually didn't have any of this shit. Ah, uh, here we go. Until the very end. Like, when you get to the house at the end, that's when it starts doing this stuff. Otherwise, that one was more about exploration and survival. Okay. But this one does the Layers of Fear thing in every memory sequence. Not to mention that in some of these later, not in this one, we don't have to worry about it in this one, but in later memory sequences, there will be, um, because we're diving into the memories of dead people at that point, there will be <laughs> threats that we have to look out for. Which I remember the next one that we do in the tattoo parlor I do remember struggling a little bit with that one. In my playthrough of the original version of this, that's gonna be fun. Alright. A lot of this guy's memories are based around his time in prison and being a drug dealer. Like, I think this is the part where we go around to the different apartment buildings and... Podczas procesu suszenia rośliny następuje częściowa recenizacja i ostrzyja miny. Suszone surowiec zawiera zmienne ilości amin. Forget about those. I forget that some of those collectibles actually take place in the memory dives in these memory hookup sequences. Whatever you want to call them. Yeah, uh, thanks. Okay, I was right. This is the part. This is the memory of Amir going around the apartment selling heroin or whatever the fuck he was selling to people. And then the next memory takes place in jail because he got arrested. Well, the next part of this memory, I mean. What 
the fuck, man? I told you not to show up during the day. Okay, I remember there being a lot more doors than that, but I think I, I missed a few. Eh, it's whatever. I know there's a trophy for getting all of them during the drug deal sequence, but... You'll run in here. Ah, Stompy McGee. So the cool thing about this part, and I didn't... I didn't realize this before. Okay. Well, we haven't actually seen him yet, but the, um... The creature that you run into the most in these memory sequences that you have to watch out for, he should be... There he is. Hey, buddy. All right, so him... He only shows up in the memories of dead people, right? As some kind of guardian to keep you from poking around in their brains and you have to sneak past him. So the funny thing about him showing up right here... Now, Amir wasn't dead when we found him, but he was dying. And now suddenly this guy has shown up. Coincidence? No. That means on the outside, Amir has just died. Now, this guy isn't actually a threat because we're going to get out of here before he realizes we're here, but... And this part, he just it just exists to show you that he's here. Hold on, why is this? Is it just because I'm playing this during the day or what? Because I cannot... Yeah, I can't see anything. That's somewhat better. Oh, I remember this part. Okay. So, here we have to look at the TV screen, and we have to figure out which door it's indicating and go through that one. I could have... It's too bad I can't get my night vision to work in the memory areas. All right, where's the door with the garbage cans? This one. This time, the door with the shelf next to it, which is this one, I believe. Now for the door with the flashing yellow light by it, which is this one. Yeah. Oh, uh, no, they want the door with all of the electronic panels next to it, which would be this one. And, oh, and now we're in an interrogation room. This fucking slop again. Cold soup. I dig in, it's not getting any better. Oh. We just got kicked out of his memories, is what happened. And of course you heard the growly stompy guy showing up. Oh, wait, we're not kicked out yet, never mind. This is the part where Amir tried to escape from prison. Dumbass. He did not get very far. Taken back in the truck, back in the cells. Oh. Amir's memories are getting a little hazy.
I forgot we could sprint during memories. Wow, that. With the 60 frames in the 4K, that actually makes for great visuals. There. Oh. Let me out. I would have never seen that if I hadn't turned around. I didn't even realize there was a collectible Let there. Me out. Fresh meat. You won't lack a day. You're in my world now. I mean, the memory sequences are the most exciting part of this game, that's for sure. But they're also the most confusing. I mean, it makes sense if you've played it before, like I have. I played the original, so this is technically a replay. I'm still curious to see what's new. They did say there was new, a few new, like new threats. New threats was one of the things they listed. What do they mean by that? Uh oh. Now everything has come to a crashing halt. So it looks like someone in the prison gave him a drug that made him go fucking haywire. And then. I don't know. Somehow he ended up back in the apartment. I remember the night we met. It's hard to forget. Now, apparently the night that Helena and Amir met was at a dance club. That's what this is indicating right here. I find it weird. When I played the original version of this on the PS4, this shit confused the hell out of me. I was just kind of going along with it, but I feel like I, I fully get it this time around. I know what's going on with them. see right through you. I saw that underneath all your muscles and tattoos, you were like a big, wounded animal. Lost. Alone. Hey, at least you know what you were getting into. Yeah, I, I guess, guess I, I did. did. Oh, Daniel Lavarsky's uh, memories are starting to mix with those of the people who's, um, he's hooking up to. That's going to happen a bit throughout the game, too. We'll be inside other people's heads, and suddenly some of Dan's memories will leak through. Jack. Yeah. That said tattoo, and now it says Jack. Anyways, this is... Um... In indication of what's to come. Health, forsaking all others. To have and to hold from this day forward until death do us part. So Amir and Helena were married in secret in the <sighs> tattoo parlor. And see, this is Dan's memory right here of when he got married. Amir's memories are starting to cause Dan to remember some of his own shit. Hmm, got really quiet all of a sudden. So here we have to drown ourselves to move forward. Well, hello! Oh uh, yeah, this is the, uh, go from spot to spot to the different showers. Because why not? Why not throw in this kind of weird, random nonsense? You can do it! I know you can! I don't even remember exactly what the point here is. I think I'm just supposed to. You're strong enough to beat this thing. You gots to touch all the blue ones. At least that's what I think. I don't know. You're strong enough to beat this thing. Oh, okay. Her saying that, I guess, is indication you went the wrong way. Never mind. <laughs> Not like it matters. 
can't fail this memory, no matter what. You have to try. Do it for me. For us. So, okay. So after Amir got out of prison, he went through rehab. That's what that was. That was Helena's words of wisdom saying, you can beat this thing, do it for us, yada yada. Like, he was he was trying to kick his addiction to whatever that shit was. Because when he was in prison, someone was still giving him the stuff that he was addicted to. And now Dan's memories are leaking through again. You know, the HDR might... Alright, so up, see, there it is. That right there is the thing that attacked the mirror. It attacked the mirror, and Helena ran, right? So logic would indicate that after it attacked the mirror and Helena ran, whatever attacked him would have chased after her. Now, where do you think she ran off to? Subject expired during the election. answer is the tattoo Emergency parlor, obviously. They've been pointing us in that direction. Rest in peace, you brave soul. Your life was terrible, but you were trying to turn it around. But hey, it's not every day you get slashed in the belly by a werewolf. So, Secrecy I'll take that. Alright, I need to... Dan needs to take his crazy pills. Yes. Hey. Synchrony injected. Strain level decreased. All right. Time to do some good old-fashioned detective work. Well, you got your last fix. Hope it was worth it. Did he, though? I mean, did you not pay attention to the memories that you were just going through? He was trying to kick the shit. How do you know that wasn't forced on him? All right. What do we got here? The only thing that was giving him life. Oh, he had an artificial heart valve inside of him. Medical grade inhaler. That's what they're calling him now. Um. Why, well, yes, I would like to scan the. Thank you. The cutting pattern matches the one from previous thing. The wedding tattoo on his left hand. This could help me find the woman I'm looking for. Indeed. And what's this? A controlled substance. Morphine. Some of the counter painkillers. The numbers on them might lead me to Amir's clients. 209-112. Well, it looks like we have questions for the people in 209 and 112. Okay. Nope. Hmm. Some strange looking hair. Not human. Not animal. Not human, not animal. Perhaps a mixture of both, then? Okay, let's see. Well, well. You must be Helen. What else are we hiding in here? Okay, Dan, the way you said that sounded extremely creepy. You don't need to, uh... <laughs> you were supposed to be the protagonist, remember? Another Nanophage and I book. The tattoo parlor, yep, as I figured. And is that a young Janus? 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 However the fuck you say it. Okay. Anything in the cupboards up here? Can't even get to them. 
Well, I think that include, concludes my investigation in here. I need to talk to, what was it again, 112 and 209? 209 and 112, yes. I'll speak with them and then head down to the tattoo parlor. Okay, 102, 103, 101. Uh, ah, in here. Where is... Oh, where is... I, I went too far. Okay. Whoa. I heard that. Okay. Oh yeah, Wolf Boy is definitely stalking the halls. Sounds like he's up in the seat, up above. Which is actually, that's kind of interesting that they did that. Because 100% later in the game, if I remember correctly from the earlier one, we go up to the attic and actually run into him. So it would make sense that those growling noises would be coming from above. We're not in actually any danger now, but that could also be something else. That could also be a weird thing. Oh, I didn't even know I could go in here. Can I? Oh, I can't. But that totally looks like I should be able to crouch under. Ah. God, that... whatever. Where is 112? Hmm. Hey, man. Sounds like I'm getting kind of... Sorry, is that noise coming from 110? It might be. Um. Ooh! What the fuck? I don't remember that. Okay. Uh, where the fuck is 112? Oh, here we go. God damn it. Excuse you. Huh? Oh, these are the hallucinations that Dan starts having as a side effect from being inside other people's memories or the memories of dead and or dying people. That's right, that's right. So that shit we just saw when we opened the door, the music he's hearing now, that warning he just heard, it's all side effects. It's in his head. Hey. You. OPD, I need to talk to you. Look who's here. The leech that's been skulking around the building. How about you change your fucking tune, pal? Jeez, man. Cool your chips. It's not every day I get to observe an observer. Is this <laughs> when you tell me you got eyes up my ass? You ain't that pretty. Besides, ever since the lockdown, I've been kind of busy. Okay, smartass. Tell me, why am I still standing here? Okay, Slimeball, you found Amir's little stash and the fucktard used our names on the merch. Close enough. Apartment numbers. Oh, busted. Let's call for backup. Oh, wait, you tried that already. Screening my calls, are you? Damn. Why don't you take a break and go hack yourself? Officer, please. What you're talking about is highly illegal, not to mention unethical. Let's just say, I'm a concerned citizen with a very particular skill set. Yeah, yeah, your cyber enhancements allow you to, uh, to scan, to do I'll stuff. I'll turn a blind eye to the monkey on your back if you put your skills to work at restoring my calm. This is gonna be a weird what reality, though. As long as we're under lockdown, this is a complete dead zone. 
Literally well, everyone is a cyborg. Like, for signs of the everyone has at least some kind of digital again. enhancement. The double A glitch, you know, the algorithm that makes the nanites go berserk on their own host, as in why nanophage happens? And? Nothing so far. Well, hell, I fucking knew ya. Look at you, an optimist. All bets are off until I finish my scan. You're not off the hook. I'm coming back to see if you're still alive when this is over. That's some motivational technique. They teach you that at leech school? <laughs> yeah, they do. Fuck off 101. I mean, that's not a very professional way to interrogate somebody, but hey, screw that guy. Okay. Alright, time to go down to the tattoo parlor. We'll leave. Or should we go up and interrogate 209? I don't think upstairs is ready for us yet. Hell, I don't know if we're ready for it. Let's find out. Uh, which way is 209? Did I just hear another one of those little remote control cars? That's a collectible, too, although I have no idea who's behind them and why. Oh, there's another photo. Oh, hey, here's a room I haven't been in. This looks like some random dining hall that was shared by the whole apartment. It pays to look around for, like, um, those synchrosines that you might need when your stuff goes haywire. Or those pictures. They make good collectibles. Or they are collectibles. <laughs> uh, nothing here. There aren't any pointless rooms in this game, though. Something leads to... everything leads to something. So I'm not sure what the hell the point of this is. Whatever it is, I probably don't have all the informa information I need for it yet. Probably one of those things. Okay, moving on. Just in case. Oh, hi. Oh, another uh, medical grade inhaler. A lot of users in this building. What do you expect? It's the slums. Man, this game gives me hardcore Blade Runner vibes. Ooh. I don't think I've ever been in here. Is this one of those new areas they were talking about? Okay. Well, I found 209. KPD, I need to ask you some questions. Uh, what's your name, boy? Uh, I like to know who I'm speaking to. Daniel Lazarski. Uh. John Bukowski. Uh, good to meet you, Daniel Lazarski. Same here. Tell me, Daniel. That rumbling I heard, uh, was that all locked down? Yeah, it was. We're trying to rule out the phage. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't seem to bother you. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, are we, are we having fun or what? <laughs> I know you're from somewhere. The name rings a bell. <sighs> Lots of people used to know me back when I was in the ring. So you were a boxer? 
You're the champ. Bulldozer Bukowski. Ugh, what's left of him? I used to be able to crush a man's skull with my bare hands. Now I can't even wipe my own ass. What's wrong? What happened to your ass? <laughs> Time happened. The corporation happened. My retirement happened. <laughs> Don't tell on me yet, Temp. Tell me what happened. Oh, now after my contract ended, I had a hot date with the repo man. They stripped you down? <laughs> that would have been illegal. They they gave me an option. Could have kept my mods. Uh, uh, it was only going to cost me two million a year. I get it. Back to bare basics. Damn. Must be tough to go on like this. <sighs> yeah, but I can't just give up. <sighs> Not in my DNA. I suppose the drugs helped you out a little? Hey, I ain't no fucking junkie. <laughs> You, you got that? Never said you were. Just wondering. You know what I got? You get your painkillers from Amir. Uh, who? Come on, I found a big stash with your name on it. No need to who me. Uh, what the hell? Yeah, he, he brings me stuff sometimes. Well, that's too bad because he's dead now. I gotta go. <laughs> whoa, whoa. How callous of you. Hey, hey, hold on, Lasarski. Uh, what did you say? I said I gotta go. <sighs> no. No, before that. You said the kid's dead. <sighs> Damn. There goes my discount. <laughs> Priorities. Uh, any idea who did him in? I was hoping you could tell me. <sighs> nah. Ain't got a clue. All right, champ. Hang in there. <sighs> yeah, fuck you too. <laughs> uh, that was a uh, that was a grand conversation. I did get a trophy out of that though, so I guess there's a trophy for falling through on um, talking to the two people who showed up in his shit on his list. Ah, uh, here we are in the. Upper realms. And there's an even further up you can go, but we're not going to deal with that now. No, sir. We need to get down to the courtyard because we have an appointment with a tattoo parlor. Tattoo shop, I'm sorry. Whatever. Did I get the collectible? It was here before. It's inside one of these trash bins. Nope, there it is. Yeah. Alright. Inside the tattoo joint we go. Do 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 scanning stuff. Oh nope. Oh yeah, that yeah, we do need to get inside here. Okay, let's see. Check their mail. Something about sick tax. Let's see. Special order. Right address. Yeah, yeah. Payment. Uh. They were looking at some tattoos for inspiration. Documents are different tattoos that they've done. Well, that she's done, that Helena's done. You see, tattoos are a little different in this world. They're not all full. Some of them are ink, but some of them are digital. It's very weird. You see, like, because of cybernetic mods, you can get tattoos like this, where the rabbits have glowing purple eyes and shit. <sighs> okay.
nothing of import. Thank you for that deep philosoph uh, philosophical take. We found some more of that strange hair on the floor here, and when we open the curtain, ta-da! Another dead body! Yay! My timing is really off today. Poor Helen. Well, you Those could say... Six five six two one zero. Oh. We have a third victim. Time of death, about an hour ago. Starting forensic analysis. Well, you could say that she died because we didn't get here quickly enough because we were busy interrogating other people, but that's not the case at all. You see, she died. She dies no matter what. There's no way you can get here quickly enough. Most of this shit happened before you got here. So this is the secret room. There's a panel on the back of this chair with a code on it that allows us to get into the secret room. And shit. I could just hack it. I, I think I even already know the code. And I could just bypass this whole section if I wanted to, but because in order to get the code, you have to dive into her memories, and since she's dead, <laughs> you have to deal with trouble inside said memories. But, and I could just bypass the whole thing, but where would be the fun in that? You know what I'm saying? But first, a good old investigation. Multiple puncture wounds, a few inches deep. Victim's blood is mixed with ink. Elevated hormone levels. Oh fuck. Don't tell me. Indeed. Blood. Yep, blood splatter on the back over there. Scratch marks on the floor. Looks like she was dragged back here. Ooh. Some more blood. And the crazy thing about all this is, um... The size and shape of the needle are consistent with the puncture wound. Yeah, Mr. Sure uh, used the tattoo machine as a murder weapon. Yep, <laughs> Wolf Guy didn't uh, kill her with his claws this time. He went straight up stabby with the she does tattoos, and he killed her with a tattoo gun by stabbing her to death. That's pretty fucked up. The neural implants untouched. Yep. Where we'll get to that in a bit. We got a match. So you call the dead man in Adam's apartment. Yep. They're all connected somehow. And is this another tape recorder? It is. Alright, just making sure I don't miss anything. When it comes to this scanny wanny stuff, you want to try to get all of it. It's a power adapter. Okay, let's listen to this tape recorder real quick. Consider the seed from which you sprang. You were not made to live like brutes, but to pursue virtue and knowledge. We are all, as humans, prone to justify our behavior. Do not admit our wrongdoings and insist that we are in the right. I'm sure the simpletons investigating my so-called crime thought themselves justified. They could not fathom that progress demands sacrifice. Drill 
goes cold. What the fuck did you think you'd find here? Okay, well, in order to move forward, we're gonna have to connect to Helena. But, that's gonna go ahead and be something that we do in the next episode. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it an end for here because the PS5's internal recording feature is limited to an hour. And if I go ahead and start that memory sequence now, I don't think I would finish it in enough time because this one's a little bit longer, especially because there's two sections where you have to sneak past enemies. So, anyways, we'll deal with that in the next episode. But for now, thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave it a like. And as always, I will catch you possibly on another day, definitely at another time, and likely in another video. Okay, goodbye.